Hello guys, this is the first day of my vlog and um, I'm not doing too great, I'm not gonna lie. So I've eaten some oats as you can see as my breakfast. My stomach's making tons of noises, if you can hear it, I'm sorry, but this is part of what I deal with. Um, and then I've got my hit like <laughs> and loads of anxiety spray to put even more up there. Um, and my hot water bottle which I carried down because I was using it last night to help me sleep. So. So this morning, I'm not gonna lie, not feeling too great. I feel really tired, even though I've had plenty of sleep. Really fatigued, um, headachey. Feel really nauseous. My stomach's making tons of noise. Um, I'm gonna warrant this on having a poor sleep hygiene because you know the anxiety keeps me up and feeling sick keeps me up. And um, I'm gonna warrant it also on my gastritis that's probably contributing to this. Right. Let's see how much I weigh. How much I weigh it is 68. Point four kilos. So bearing in mind guys that I weighed a whopping 93 kilos before my anxiety hit me. Um, before I started getting ill and I was eating fine, I was a much heavier guy. Um, so in stone, that's about 15 stone. It's not exactly, but um, sorry, a bit of oat on my lip I think. So I think 63 kilos is roughly around 11 stone. Which isn't too healthy is it Mr Sid? I'm not used to this whole YouTube thing, you're going to have to give me my personality, we'll catch up with you. Although I'm kind of hoping it doesn't, because then you'll all see how weird I am. So my dad is helping my brother with some stuff in his garden today in Cambridge, so I was thinking of going down and maybe seeing if I can help with that. It is about a 40 minute drive though, so I'm not sure if I'll actually have time in my day to go down there. Well I have time, I'm not doing anything, um, but you know, obviously it takes a while to drive, I feel like by the time I get there at this time, because it's currently 2. I think um, they'll be done. God, my stomach is making so many noises and I'm just slowly sipping at this tea now. Yeah, so we'll see how weirded out my family are when they see me kind of carrying my phone around with me and doing these short little video vlogs here and there. So I'm kind of torn if I should do these every day. I was thinking maybe every day is a bit much and quite a lot to be uploading. So I was thinking maybe it's best to do like four days a week. Maybe to do like a Monday, a Wednesday, a Friday and one weekend. Whether that be a Saturday or a Sunday, it can defer each weekend, maybe. I'll just always upload it on a Sunday. Alright guys, I've finally freshened up, and I've decided that I probably am actually going to go to my brother's today. So, before I head off to Cambridge, I'll show you some little tips, I think, that help with energy levels and stuff, and with when you're not really eating a lot. So, I like a little bit of a high pH level water. But no, seriously, this shit is good. So it's completely, it's ionized, it's got like magnesium and stuff in it. Um, like I said, really high pH level. Neutral is about seven, so this is nine, um, which is really good. Um, high pH level helps oxygenate your blood, it helps your uh, stomach acids not get too overwhelmed. Um, so yeah, no, it really helps. Aloe vera juice, having a shot of that before bed is good. Waking up in the morning to some celery water is really good, and in the afternoon, have 100% pure coconut water. So the aloe vera gel kind of like cleanses everything in your stomach and makes everything, it's very, it's more very soothing, um, like gets rid of any inflammation and um, the coconut uh, water is the same, kind of keeps a healthy stomach. Um, and then I've got something here actually. in my little cupboard of goodies is manuka honey, which is a natural antiseptic. They actually use this in hospitals. Um, I got one in a high 300 MGO, which is the count of the healing property in it. Um, so this is high in strength, I think. Um, yeah, and a teaspoon of that every day in your tea or something like that can help. I've got my selection of chamomile teas. Then my organic tea and my other chamomile tea hand-picked in the fields of Bangladesh. Then on top of that, I have some chewable vitamins because it's easier. Um, you can get like vitamin sprays as well and probiotic chocolate balls. Obviously I don't take all of these in one day. I'm not sure if it'd be healthy to do it all in one day, um, but they're all like good things you can do to try and help with your stomach. Also, it's just like a great way of just staying healthy in general, helping your overall energy levels and um, trying to be like, yeah, healthy. Right, so I'm off to my, oh, I think my car's about to blow up. So I'm off to my brother's now, so it'll be about a half an hour drive to Cambridge, and um, yeah, let's see what I can help with around there with their gardening, because they've just moved there, and they're sorting out everything. My whole family is going to be there, I think. Well, okay, my whole family, just my dad and the and the family gardener. So I'll speak to you guys in a sec. Oh, so I'm finally here. 
I'm not going to lie, that was a horrible journey <laughs> to Cambridge, um, feeling quite rough during the drive and I uh, took a kind of turn for the worst and started getting really ill and behind the wheel and had to pull over. Um, also um, thought maybe my headaches, like headaches come back, come on really suddenly and painfully as well so I thought maybe I should try and hydrate myself and eat some food so I have pulled over and got a little tuna sandwich and some water but again you know I think it's important to try your hardest to find the will to carry on even though you get setbacks from physical or mental you know health so let's go in and let's see how my dad and brother and everyone's doing with this garden ah oh, ah oh, there's not, not a lot of work going on here is there <laughs> ah so this is what we have done out the back so far and it still looks like a complete shithole so here you have my brother's house and there you have my sister's house and uh, we've basically turned it into one big solid garden that's where the shed used to be. I want a fire pit, a jacuzzi. I want the full works done. It's my brother's pond. It's my sister's pond. <laughs> you can see the class difference in maidenings. And there is Daddy. Fence is good, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, Jay. Get some loose rubbish in there. Alright, okay. Well, that's what we're doing. You can't put any more bags in there. Oh, you can join us in the Bonfire. Oh, no, we'll in the car. This is for my video vlog, so you're going to be in my vlog now. <laughs> okay, should we try and lift it? Oh, I'm absolutely knackered after lifting them. <laughs> you did it too I told close. you, I told you. You didn't bite my heads earlier, it was down fence. Why are you biting heads? What's going on? So what's happening about the fence? <laughs> well done, Neil. Well, Unfortunately, we're going to have to let you down. <laughs> that, 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 we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. I'm. You're fine, Neil. I'm sorry. It just didn't do a good enough. I mean, look at the state. <laughs> Such an intimate scene, isn't it, Natasha? Mm -hmm. So intimate. Look like a toe. <laughs> God, there's nothing better than watching a bit of intimacy with your sister and her friends. <laughs> All right. So now I'm finally back at my humble abode. I've currently got a um, uh, kettle boiling in the corner because, you know, just feeling ill as again, as always. Now, yeah, I have a small little place um, and I've kind of set out to try and be as zen as possible. So I've got all these fairy lights and I've got the tree of life <laughs> on the uh, above the TV there and dream catchers and hanging plants, which is dying um, because it's getting to that time of year now. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure I'm just not giving it enough sunlight. But yeah, fairy lights everywhere and incense. It's a little bit, it's not too bad. It can be messier, but um, I've been keeping the flat relatively tidy this lockdown, actually. Yeah, so what I think I'll do is have a hot water bottle and um, some of my amazing chamomile tea. Oh man, look at that bubbling water. As I said earlier, guys, hand picked in the hills of Bangladesh. Is it Bangladesh, sorry. Oh fuck, a bore, a bore, a bore. <sighs> oh, that's good. So the day hasn't been brilliant, but it's been better than usual. The last few days I've been really ill, um, but today I've just been ill. <laughs> I wouldn't say really severely ill, but there have been times in my day where I'm like, oh god, I can't deal with this. Um, but also, I think, given the fact that I've had quite a few bad days, uh, it's made this day kind of not seem as bad. I think. Uh, the weekend kind of has overshadowed today um, quite significantly and I never know really quite what to vlog uh, either like because I'm kind of new to this I'm like oh what should I show on camera and obviously I don't want to be filming throughout my whole entire day um, so I just show some bits also keeps the video shorter because I think I could just do like an hour long video if I got carried away enough but yeah I'll say today was okay I mean like you guys saw this morning I had oats um, for breakfast um, I had a tuna melt for lunch which is probably bad to have because of the cheese um, but the bread was gluten free and tuna sits okay with my stomach and experience fish is okay um, and then for dinner I had avocado on toast with tuna again you will learn that I'm a huge tuna lover oh, yeah. I also said the more I do these videos the uh, weirder you will realize I am so yeah so today hasn't been great but it hasn't been the worst it's definitely um, 
been worse over the last few days. So now it's kind of getting into, sort of, I mean, it's late evening now. Um, I'm probably going to just sit back and enjoy some Netflix and then uh, head to bed. Oh, I've got my um, incense, I bought, uh, brought for my brother's girlfriend today some wax burners. Now check that, check that out. It's my little um, incense waterfall as well. I've got my candles uh, and then my anxiety spray. So yeah, so that's been my day. It's been pretty okay. Um, like I said, I try to get out and do something every day. Um, and obviously I've helped my family with the gardening, which was pretty cool. Because uh, like I said, they've moved house. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay strong.